Hey everybody, welcome back to Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Once again, I am sitting outside on a beautiful um, fall day. And again, it doesn't feel like the end of November. It's about uh, 79 degrees maybe here in Southeast Texas. And I just wanted to come outside and enjoy um, this beautiful day. This is my last installment of the Thankfulness Challenge collaboration. I want to thank um, Garden for Cheap, Rachel with Garden for Cheap. I'm doing this one a little bit different and I hope she doesn't mind. I'm um, turning this into a bit of a, a devotional. And well, last night I went to a Faith Fest uh, here in Conroe. It, it's put on um, by a, one of our city councilmen and it's a really kind of a neat little deal that's a collaboration of multiple um, faiths. And there's uh, Catholics, there's um, Baptists, there's uh, my own um, church there which is a vineyard um, there's Church of Christ there's I always sit in awe thinking you know this is how it's going to be in heaven there's not going to be a denomination there's going to be all of us there um, singing praising and, and worshiping and I just love it and I, I am, I, I think we have a big God and, and I think a lot of people are going to be shocked when we, we get to uh, the afterlife and, and there's going to be a, a lot of people there. Um, so, but, today I wanted to, um, I, I'm titling this, um, this blog fake it till you make it I spent a lot of my life um, that was kind of my mantra uh, in life was um, fake it till you make it and the reason that I used that um, was because that that depicted me I've spent a good part of my life um, dealing with depression um, and of, of different stages um, I have a long family biological family uh, dealing with mental illness and um, I have children that deal with with mental illness and and so um, my uh, adoptive family it doesn't struggle with it as much and and uh, so I heard a lot growing up you know ha think happy thoughts you know not understanding they it wasn't said meanly they just didn't have an understanding of depression and, and that kind of stuff and they do now they understand it a whole lot more now than they did when I was a child so um, so I, I've spent a good part of my life, you know, faking it until I made it, and and so, but we we do that a lot in in the Christian faith as well because we open up our Bibles and the the Bible talks a lot about uh, being thankful and and being um, in grace and and all these things. So we put on our our brave Christian faces and we go to church and. And somebody says, how are you doing today? Oh, we're do <coughs> doing gr great, you know, because the Bible talks about being grateful and being thankful. And, and that's what it says we should feel. But in truth, um, and we all do it, um, we know we're supposed to feel that way. But in truth, if we're honest with ourselves... Christians are probably some of the most unhappy people <laughs> that I know and I, I'm probably going to catch a lot of feedback and, and um, 
down in the comments and it's okay um well that's not true that's not and it's okay i i expect it but if we're being real and we're being honest that's not true and it's because we we live with a lot of guilt because we know that's not how we're supposed to feel so we cover it up when we sweep it under the bri the the rug and we put on brave faces of I think we put on a brave face to um, because we want everybody to think that as Christians that we believe everything the Bible says and we do but you know God's redeemed us and everything is perfect God never asks that of us he never asks us to fake anything so I, I think it's very important and non-Christians um, and people who are struggling with their faith um, find this much more genuine if we're very real. Um, saying, yeah, some days I struggle. Some days, um, some days it's hard. Some days I cry. You know, uh, my pastor is a blues musician, and he has a song. I'd love to play it for you, but because of copyright stuff, I can't. He would love for me to do it, but his um, the people who produce his, his albums won't let me <laughs> play it. But I'll link his album below, and y'all can go check it out. But he's got a song that um, is called Everything's Gonna Be Alright. And I, every time he plays it, I, I just sit and ball because it's just like in this moment, <clears throat> today, it's going to be all right today. And sometimes I think it, it is. It's not that it's all right all the time. It's just in this moment, it's going to be all right, you know. Um, and that way, it, it, you don't have to fake it all the time. You don't have to, um, it's not a everyday fake. It's, it's just in this small window, um, it's going to be okay because I, I know that my God's a big God and it's about letting him f fight the battle and stop trying to fight it in my own power. And th that's the key, right? Um, when I learned that, when, when, and it's a, it's an everyday, um, challenge. There have been moments in my life that, you know, the depression has been so real and so deep that I, the only thing I can do is just sit and do breath prayers. I haven't even been able to um, get out anything beyond um, saying, thank you, Father. 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 And just repeating that over and over and over and over again. And I find when I do that, um, I'm able to, it relaxes me. It lowers my blood pressure. It just gives me a sense of peace that um, I can get through the next 30 seconds to the next minute to the next 30 minutes and and I find that when you can do that it can make God more real and it, it can make it can bring the Father to I think if we as Christians, if we would be real with people, if we would say, yeah, some days it's hard, um, but Jesus never said it would be easy. His life was not easy. He was very, but he was very humble. And 
Um, he was very real with his people and um, he liked hanging out with his friends and he loved his community. He got angry. Um, he, he loved well. And he, you know, and he had very real emo emotions. And I, I think, um, but he never, he never faked how he felt. I think if we just used him as an example, um, I think we'll be okay. Um, and I, I think that during the holidays, you know, we need to remember that. People struggle hard uh, with depression during the holidays. And I think we need to be inclusive. Um, check on your neighbors, check on your friends, you know? Um, because sometimes during uh, the holidays are the loneliest times for, for folks. So, you know, that, that person at church maybe that um, doesn't have friends or family, why don't you pull up an extra plate for them? Give them a call and see if they want to come over and spend Thanksgiving or Christmas with you. You might just be surprised. Anyway, that's not my seven things, but or that's not seven things in particular, I should say. But I hope it just gives you something to uh, chew on. And, and I would say, instead of trying to fake it till you make it, be real until you make it. So anyway, I'm probably gonna have to end this soon. It looks like it's fixing to rain, but I just wanted to wish all you guys a happy Thanksgiving and just remember, you don't have to fake it till you make it. Um, God loves you right where you're at, and it's okay. It's okay to, you know, just just do you and be you. Um, and and people are going to um, going to love you just the way you are. And if they don't, then they're they're not your real friends anyway and i think um christians we can do better church we can do better um because god wants us as we are not not how in in our minds we think christians should be he wants a genuine honest church that's the way jesus was and I think that's how we should portray ourselves, as real and authentic um, as he was and as, as his disciples were. Um, there are so many good examples of the way they were. And I've got a book that I'm gonna be uh, talking about in my Wednesday night live. So please come check that out. That's uh, 6.30 on Wednesday night. Um, I I'm gonna be talking about that book that I think you guys are really, really gonna like. So uh, if y'all have time, I know it's busy, it's right before Thanksgiving. Come hang out with me even for a few minutes. I'd love to have you. So anyway, God bless. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, love you guys. God bless.